Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal, and welcome back to another What Sold video. These are sales from Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay from November 1st through November 15th of 2022. If you are a new subscriber to my channel, I put out these What Sold videos twice a month or every two weeks where I go over every single sale that happened on the three platforms that I sell on. And as always, we're going to start on Mercari, but unfortunately I had zero sales. So we're going to move quickly onto Poshmark where I had 13 sales. The first sale on Poshmark was a pair of earrings that I sourced from Whatnot. This was a pair of antiqued gold flamingo earrings. They were very lightweight, but very cool and very fun. Fun, and they sold for $11 with discounted shipping. The next sale was a pair of jeans from the brand Cotton On and they were a faded black mom jean with zero stretch to them and they sold for $15. Next was a bundle of some vintage jewelry. The first item in the bundle was a pair of vintage Avon knotted gold tone earrings with a little clear rhinestone in the middle, and then a pair of butterfly and faux pearl sweater clips, and they sold together in a bundle for $18. Next sale was a sample perfume. This was just one vial, but it was the Calvin Klein Euphoria Blush Perfume Sample, and it sold for $7 with discounted shipping. Then we have a very old item to sell. Always love when those old items go. This was a Tommy Hilfiger orange and pink paisley short sleeve blouse. This had a really cool round wooden ring at the neckline and it sold for $10 with discounted shipping. Next was a pair of leggings from Victoria's Secret. These were the sport knockout white and black tie-dye leggings and they were a size medium long. When I see long or tall items in the thrift store and it's a good brand that I know people are searching for, I will pick these up and they sold for $25, which was my full asking price. Next is an item that I lost money on, but I'm not upset about it because it's kind of a larger item and it takes up a lot of room. And I still have several other items like it that are taking up room and also need to go. So this was a big floppy hat. It was the brand Hat Attack and it was a 100% raffia woven Goldie Sun Hat. And it was called the Goldie Sun Hat because it had little gold flecks of material within the raffia and it sold for $30. I paid over $27 for this because it came in a bulk liquidation lot. So I did end up losing $3.96, but there were plenty other items in that box that I made money on. So I am okay with losing money this time, but hopefully the trend won't continue with the rest of the items from that box. Next is a Rosin Alley purple quilted zipper front vest. This was from my Helpsy outerwear box and it sold for $14 with discounted shipping. Next is an item that I purchased from Whatnot that I actually purchased for myself, but never ended up using it or finding a use for it. So I did resell it. It was a blue speckled art glass squat vase. It was signed underneath Italia 2006 in a very, very long, what I think is Scandinavian name. I searched hours for the artist of this vase. I even tried Facebook groups to see if anyone recognized it, but no one did. So I just sold it as an artist created vase. I did spend over $25 on it with all the shipping and the taxes and everything from whatnot, but I did sell it for 45. So I made a little over $10 in profit and I'm happy to pass along a beautiful vase to someone who will actually use it, at least I hope so. Next is a new with tags, original deluxe plaid gray jacket. This was a size 5XL and it came out of a thread up rescue box men's items and it sold for $25, which was my full asking price. And the customer did message me after they received it saying that since they are a big and tall guy, usually coats like this doesn't fit them well, but I guess this one fit perfectly. So I am pleased that the customer was happy with their purchase. Next is a pair of Old Navy Boyfriend Fit Raw Hem Jeans. These were a size 14. The customer and I kind of went back and forth on a price, mostly because I had sent them a previous offer with discounted shipping, but they missed it. So they sent me kind of a low ball offer. And when she explained what she was trying to do, I understood. So then I sent her a $12 offer with discounted shipping. This came out of a thread up denim rescue box. So my cost of goods was pretty low. So I was okay with letting it go for $12. 
Next is a vintage wooden beaded oval hanging mirror. This I picked up at a flea market for only $2 and it sold for $20 with discounted shipping. And the customer told me that they were redoing their whole house in thrifted boho decor and this was gonna fit in perfectly. So I hope that they enjoy it. And then the last sale on Poshmark was a soft surroundings robin egg blue tank maxi dress that had pockets as well. And this dress did have one tiny flaw. Goodwill put their tag near the shoulder area and when I removed the tag, there was a small hole left behind. So I just took some white thread and did the best that I could. If I had blue thread, I would have used that, but it's near the shoulder and I'm not really sure many people would notice. So even with a flaw, this dress sold for $24 with discounted shipping. So of my 13 Poshmark sales, I had two $256 in sales, $55.15 in fees. I gave out $12.04 in shipping discounts, giving me a profit of $188.81 with an average sales price of $19.69. Moving on to eBay where I had 16 sales. The first sale was a pair of earrings that I got out of my Goodwill blue box. I actually think that these might've just been the brand paparazzi because when I did a Google image search, that's what came up, but they weren't marked as such and they felt kind of a decent quality. So I didn't say that they were that brand. They were a coppery brown color made of a fabric tassel. They sold for $5. Maybe the customer also knew that they were paparazzi because the paparazzi jewelry only retails for $5, but my cost of goods was relatively low for that box. So I was happy to accept that offer. Next up was a pair of boots. This was the brand So or S-O. It's a Kohl's brand. It was the Hackberry Cognac lace-up sweater collar boots. These sold for my full asking price of $17.99, and I'm pretty sure they came out of a Thread Up Rescue box. Next is a dress by the brand Laundry by Shelly Seagal. This was a sage green polka dot 100% silk dress. It was strapless. I sourced this from ThreadUp's outlet center, but when I pulled the item to ship it to the customer, I noticed that there was a slight amount of yellowing under the armpits that I didn't see while I was photographing. And I'm not really sure why I didn't see it. Maybe that yellowing wasn't there when I took the pictures, but due to it being stored with other clothing and it being stored for quite a while, maybe that yellowing just came out. I did attempt to clean it myself. And if you didn't know, you can wash some silk items in the washing machine. I used my Tide Rescue Spray to gently rub it in the area, let it sit for a little bit. Then I put the garment in a white pillowcase, put it on the gentle cycle or hand wash cycle on the washing machine, and then I hung it outside to dry. And unfortunately, it didn't really do much, but at least I knew the dress was clean. The item sold for $29.99, which was my full asking price. I did write the customer a very nice note explaining the situation and offered to have it returned back to me for free shipping with a full refund if she was unhappy. It's been two weeks now and I haven't heard anything from the customer, so I'm assuming that everything was fine. One of the biggest reasons why I mention all flaws, even the tiniest amount of flaws in my listings and also if I miss them while packing up the item, because sometimes what I think is a flaw won't bother the customer at all. And that is why I will always send the customer the item with a note explaining everything so that the customer decide if it's a deal breaker or not, rather than losing the sale altogether. I'm not necessarily saying that that's the correct thing to do. I've had a few people reach out on Instagram saying that they will offer the customer a partial refund, still send out the item, message them, give them the choice, but this is just how I do it and definitely do what works for your business. Next is a new with tags, international concepts, red paisley ruffle smocked chest wide leg jumpsuit. This was a size 1X or XXL. I can't remember, but obviously I'll put the listing up here and it sold for my full asking price of $29.99. Next is a pair of Wilfred, which was my first time ever finding that brand wool knit wide leg cropped pants. These surprisingly had no holes and not really a lot of wear to them and they sold for $27.50. Next is a pair of slipper socks. This was the brand Fuzzy Baba and they were new with tags, pink bunny slipper socks and they sold for $10.50 and these came out of a thread up fun box. 
Next is a J. Crew striped tan and navy blue cashmere blend pullover sweater. This was a men's sweater, which was listed in the title and also in the men's category, but the customer messaged me after I had already shipped out the item saying that they thought it was a women's sweater, but they obviously were mistaken. I did let the customer know that I do offer returns, but they would just have to pay for the item to get back to me if they were unhappy. But it's been 10 days now and I haven't heard anything and they actually turned around and purchased something else from me. So maybe they are happy with their purchase or maybe they made it work for them. This sweater sold for $21.99, which was my full asking price. The next sale is the item that the customer with the cashmere sweater purchased like right after our conversation. It was kind of strange, but I wasn't questioning it. And it was a fossil crossbody purse. It was in this like beige tan color with a paisley floral print all over it. And it sold for $16.19. Next is another Blue Willow item from my mom's collection. This was an antique item though, and it was by the brand Allerton Limited, and it was a scalloped edge gravy boat. It was made in England. I do believe it was over 100 years old, which is why I called it antique based off of my research and comparable sold listings. This sold for $13.49, and it went all the way to Puerto Rico. By the way, if you notice some weird dollar amounts like 19 cents and 49 cents, I was offering a 10% off coupon on my entire store. So that's why they're coming up in those odd numbers that I'm not used to. Next up is a vintage Talbot's cardigan sweater. This was a petite size. It was 100% wool and it was a gray background with embroidered snowflakes all over it. And it sold for $17.50. Next was an item that I've had for three years now and it had previously sold but was returned. So this is the second time selling it. It was a new with tags, BCBG generation, gray braided neckline, sweatshirt blouse. I had lowered this down to $5.99 to hopefully move it out of my store. I sent someone an offer for $4.50 and they countered back at $4. It's amazing to me that even at like the lowest possible cost, people still want a little bit off. So I did accept it. And I ended up making $1.36 on that item. Next is a new with tags, Chico's Itsy Bitsy Textured Knee Length Short Sleeve Dress. This was a size three or a size extra large. I picked this up in my most recent thrift haul, which I'll link that video up here if you'd like to see what I got. And it sold for $27.50 and it sold within a week of me listing it. Next is a pair of gold tone dainty small flying swallow bird stud earrings. I did say in my listing that the wings were open. I don't know if that matters. Like I was thinking like the elephant's trunk up means good luck. Didn't know if a bird flying was also good luck or something like that, but I needed some keywords. So I put that in there and they sold for $10 and 79 cents. Next is a Carter's baby boy red reindeer holiday sweater. I picked this up for 25 cents at a yard sale and it sold for $8. Next is a pack of four pairs of socks that sold. These were all new with tags, of course. It was the Cotton Rich Ankle Socks and they had hearts, flowers, and stripes on them and they sold for $7 and these came out of a Thread Up Fun Box. Gotta love how fun boxes always have a pair of socks in them. But they did sell and socks are one thing that people will always need and will always be purchasing. And then the last item to sell is a Takahashi hand-painted bunny and carrots light switch plate. This sold in two hours. It did have two small chips in the hole where the light switch goes that someone had painted with like highlighter or marker to make it kind of blend in, but otherwise it was in excellent condition. Immediately after I listed the item, I had one watcher and I sent them a $10 offer and they accepted. I definitely wasn't expecting it to sell that fast, especially since I thought it was more of an Easter item, but I'm super happy that it did. So of my 16 eBay sales, I had $257.43 in sales. I made a shipping profit of $28.36 because what I charged the customer is a little bit more than what I actually purchased through eBay's shipping. 
I had $65.89 in fees, giving me a profit of $219.90. My average sales price for each item that sold was $16.09. And now moving on to my total numbers where I had 29 sales from November 1st through November 15th of 2022. I had $513.43 in sales, $104.72 in fees and shipping discounts. My cost of goods this time was $149.63, giving me a profit of $259.08. And my cost of goods this time for each item that sold was definitely higher than what I like it at $5.16. I like to keep that number under $4, but there were quite a few pieces that I paid a little bit more for, so that's why that number is quite high. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope that your sales are plentiful. People are definitely shopping for Christmas and the holidays, so if you have any new with tags items in your death pile, I would definitely pull them out photographed and list them real quick because those people are definitely looking for those types of items as gifts to their loved ones. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you watched. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel and you like these what sold videos, you can hit that subscribe button and be a part of our little family here. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.